All right, let's do that quick sheep. Now for the sheep, you're gonna need, I like to use mocha, but you can use whichever one you want. You can use black or whatever. Boom. Two hand rids tail. You're gonna need two full white. Again, blown up maybe half with a good two hands tail. Don't over inflate these ones because you are going to be doing a lot of twists out of those. But this works out really cute. You're also going to need a small scrap of white. About six fingers length there. Again, don't get too hung up on it. Let's start. Make the head. Three fingers. And then I like to curve the nose. So we're going to go four fingers. Twist those together. A small, that's a, about a half, finger and a half with loop for one ear. With a second ear. Again, about a finger and a half. So there you go. There's the head. Let's add the eyes. So a small two finger bubble, followed by another small two finger bubble. Pinch twist. Pinch twist. Leave yourself a little bit of tail. On top of where the ears are. Back in. If you got excess, trim it off. There you go. So far, so good. Put that off to the side. Now, take your one of your whites. This is going to be, you're basically making a flower. The same flower as you would for a candy cup. So, small two finger bubble, or two finger loop. Another two finger loop. You're going to be doing this about six times. Don't get too hung up on keeping it straight and in line because it's going to make it fluffy. All right? Simple as that. Let's go to the other. Do the same as what you did with the first. Six. Okay. So, take where the flat bits are. Ooh, wrap it in. So far, so good. You're going to create a bit of a flat spot. That's where the head is going to go. So, small bubble. Give yourself a bit of slack. Wrap that in. Just like that. Down to the bottom. Now we've got to do the feet. One set of, we got a small bubble, sort of three finger bubble, followed by another three finger bubble. 
lock them together. I like to work it, the brown back up in just to make sure it's nice and tight. Another small bubble. Boop, boop. And wrap it around one of the loops. Just like that. Do use a bit of body on this one. Yep. So far so good. Let's make his waggly tail. So that's like a, I'm gonna make a small bubble there. Deflate, but don't let it all out. Just make a little knot at the end. So he's got this. Bring his head up. Now let's put the eyes on it. There you go. Pretty e darn easy. One little thing I like to do, completely optional of course, is take a spot of green. It can either be lime or it's just a scrap. So fold it in half like that. Just sort of wedge it into his mouth so he's got some sticking out. There you go. Let me know what you think.